Hello, welcome to my Iceland video. It's It's been a long time, but I'm here, and uh, the first thing is I'm a dummy, and I end up, uh, I end up filming some things and uh, ended up not even taking pictures some days, so there's gonna be a little bit of in and out from right now to back then, but uh, to, to do an introduction, we went to uh, we went to Iceland and we went all over the country. We did the Golden Circle. We we did everything and it was pretty awesome. Um, it was cold. <laughs> it was an even 45 degrees Fahrenheit day and night. Uh, luckily we had a day and night. I found out if we went like a couple months earlier it would have been daytime the entire time and that wouldn't have been fun. So <laughs> we actually had days and night cycles. Uh, first thing is us leaving uh, Florida, or <laughs> that's us going to the airport. Um, we flew for a long, long time, and we had trouble with the rental company, the where we were supposed to get our our uh, Jeep. It ended up taking a long, long time to get a darn rental car. So we got our car, and we drove out to the uh, cottage that we rented for the the trip there. And it was really far away, but it was so nice. It was really, really nice. Every every area that you went where there was civilization, it was kind of small and compact, and you, you could tell that it was you know very, very friendly. It was really nice. Uh, when we finally got towards the college, we found uh, this cafe mixed with like a little a little like mall but it was like inside and it had a pharmacy and it had this place called bonus and this isn't the bonus that we went to it's uh, it's one I found online because we didn't take a photo of it for some reason but we showed this logo to just about everybody and we've gotten a different response each time so we're not sure what that pig is doing but bonus. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to leave it here. We had a full day of not much going on because the travel is ridiculously long. Uh, we went the next day when our uh, when the rest of our crew finally got here, we, uh, we went out and got like a, a couple... I think we just found one waterfall. No, we found two. And uh, it was just us going through the uh, the wilderness there, and it was really fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, Matt found a hidden waterfall, and he got to go behind it. <laughs> so the rest I'll just leave up to uh, up to this. crater with, with the water at the bottom and it's so windy and rainy and cold <laughs> but it's so pretty <laughs> wow. uh, worth it <laughs> here it is from the bottom I was all the way up there now I'm down here <laughs> It's supposed to go off every six to eight hours, but I have no idea if it's going to. I'm not going to sit here and wait around. That water behind me, there's a small stream. That is over 100 degrees Celsius, so it is supposedly boiling water. It's really cool. It's really hot. And I'm freezing. So... <laughs> is the actual geyser and the good news is I got to see it go off. The bad news is it only goes off
up every six to eight hours. So I missed recording it. But that's okay. Totally fine. Oh wait, oh shit! Yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> those cool rocks I'm kind of over it I'm I'm like really cold <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of going out there like I've I've fallen down at the crater and I, my ass hurts to be honest um, but I'm just gonna I'm watching them climb this this uh, ridge over here like you see them all all out there climbing I'm done climbing. <laughs> I'll climb for the next one. This one does like not a very specific point. We're just kind of all over the place. There's a bunch of mountains all around and it's pretty but I am cold and tired and complaining and I just, I'm done right now. I'm just... oh. So yeah, <laughs> that's that. don't think you can tell that that's a really deep crevice, but hey, there's a bird! <laughs> uh, tiny the people are. This thing is ginormous. <laughs> Church from all the way down here of these rocks to get where I am now. And I am not a rock climber, man. I'm not wearing the best shoes. They're not good for this. Hey guys, I figured it out. They got a hose that, that they're pumping it up to the top there. So they have waterfalls year round. Figured it out. Conspiracy theory solved. all the way up there to the top of this waterfall. I climbed the mountain. 
to the top of the waterfall. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Worth it. just ends because there's a waterfall. And it just leads into that other one. So cool. Think about these because they're just so majestic and beautiful on their own. <laughs> There's some like whirlpools down there. Really freaking cool. So many waterfall. So many. left without me. This thing's even bigger than the last one. It's huge! Any closer to it, I'm gonna get like just a downpour of mist on myself and the phone. So this is as close as I'm gonna get uh, with video camera wise. I might take a photo up there, but a uh, photo or three. I know they've got some other guys up there that are taking good photos. So, wow, this thing's huge. It's gigantic. <laughs> Out to the ocean. That thing is fucking huge. <laughs> Sands Beach, and there's this really cool cave. Oh my god, and there's that really cool outcropping. Oh, wow. It's really cold out here. I'm getting knocked over by these gusts of wind out here. <laughs> oh. That's so pretty though. I've ever caught, you know, I've, I've heard in a long damn time. And if you can't tell, I'm definitely a water person. Water is definitely uh, something I do. But then there's also, oh, <laughs> open up high up on the beach. Oh no, I'm gonna get wet. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't get wet. I'm good. <laughs> but it's close. <laughs> oh no. But I'm trying to show you these rocks too. They're pretty pretty cool. They're all piped up uh, vertically. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> I'm gonna go so I don't drop my phone in the water. 
<laughs> the tide is rapidly encroaching. We found another cave. This cave is so cool. <laughs> I'll get a better picture when I can get out of it, but right now the tide keeps coming up and up. Uh, you can't tell because of the light, but it just it keeps trying to get us. <laughs> Out. They're just all, it's just ice everywhere, big old chunks of ice. And it's not even that cold out here, like I would, I would expect it to be way colder, like the black beach was even colder than this with big old gusts, but it's been pretty calm. Big old blocks of ice. My husband just picked up a chunk and put it in his pocket and walked away. Okay, now I'm cold, <laughs> but I'm on a boat, and there's some really, really cool icebergs. Oop, there's a little boat over here. I'm not sure what he's saying, but I'm gonna go. the other side of the bridge we got some moving ice big old chunks I'm on a beach but it's just covered in ice there's like a little island there that I want to get to because there's like a really pretty, that one is really pretty and I want to, I want to stand next to it but I can't because I can't walk over there. <sighs> it sucks. But oh my gosh, this is unreal. Just ice, just chilling out on the beach. That's not something you'll see in Florida ever. <laughs> past <laughs> it's coming from a lake <laughs> 
and there's like a blockage of this ice and it just rushes all through straight out to the sea back at the beach everything is cool guys if i wouldn't die i would totally try to river rapid that that'd be ridiculous <laughs> That. Big ass chunk came off. They're at the top. Okay. They're in the okay. Oh, this is so cool. I'm on a bridge and I shouldn't be here. This is probably as close as I'm going to get to this glacier, but it goes all the way up into the mountains. Jeez. So then I stopped taking photos, but we went to Reykjavik the next day again to go to a bunch of museums. We went to the Settlement Museum and the Phallological Museum, and then later at night we had to make an appointment for the, uh, the Blue Lagoon, and uh, we had to go at night, and that was a really fun but confusing uh, situation. <laughs> The volcanoes, well, one volcano is a cool tube, and it was really neat. But we weren't allowed to take a ton of photos. Then we went to the Black Church, which was really awesome. It's a really tiny church. It's not much deeper than it is wide. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty square and very small. And next to it is a very tiny graveyard. We saw just a little bit of Aurora Borealis. It was the one night that we could. That was after we went and saw Blade Runner at a mall, and that was a fun little excursion. And this is the last day. We went to Viking World, uh, where they had like this big replica boat, and we all got to play around on it. And <laughs> and underneath, we got to play dress up. <laughs> I found a hammer, and I found a bigger hammer. <laughs> And these guys were neat. I thought they were really cool. Use them for future reference on monsters. But yeah, we gotta play dress up. And then we went to the car rental place and then came home. But that was my trip to Iceland, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was really fun and really expensive. <laughs> I would suggest you definitely save up more than you think you have to beforehand uh, to go, because the flight could be cheap, could be inexpensive, but everything there was at least $20. Like, there wasn't much un that was under $20 uh, there. But that's okay. I mean, they're an island. They have to they have to import or build it themselves. So I totally understand. It's just, it was, it was a lot. But it was so fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's definitely do your research beforehand. And like I said, if you go to the Blue Lagoon, make sure you make an appointment ahead of time and not the day of. <laughs> so we were supposed to go to the Blue Lagoon first. Like that was what we were supposed to do the first day. And it ended up not happening because we were all exhausted. And then when um, the other two came in, Chad and Laura, we had to... Um, they they weren't feeling good either because it was it was a long long trip and for me the chairs sucked like they hurt my butt 
as I said earlier. <laughs> the, the, the chairs hurt, the back, the very, very back seat of the truck we got hurt, and I just, I could not get a break, and I couldn't, <laughs> my butt would not feel better <laughs> the entire time. Yeah, that's all you needed to know about my butt. But yes, that was my Iceland trip. I hope you enjoyed it, and I am back. So thank you so much. Check out my next videos that are coming up soon, and my freckly face is out of here. Bye!